hi everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial here we are going to learn how to calculate the IRR or the internal rate of return in Microsoft Excel the internal rate of return is a financial indicator that is used for estimating the profitability or the desirability of an investment or project and the internal rate of return calculates or discounted rate that makes the net present value of an investment equal to zero and to make the investment decision we compare the IRR with the minimum rate of return or the expected rate of return or required rate of return here I have assumed the minimum rate of return is 12 percent this is also known as cost of capital if the IRR is greater than the minimum or expected rate of return then the investment is supposed to be profitable because in the rate of return calculated by IRR the net present value of investment becomes zero which is the break even point if the minimum or expected rate of return is less than IRR then there will be profit in the project now let's calculate IRR here press equal to type IRR function here you see then open bracket in the values we have to just select the cash outflow and inflow range then close the bracket press enter this has given the IRR of 16% and here if the result of the IRR is greater than the minimum rate of return then there will be profit if we calculate the NPV here let me calculate NPV also and here to calculate NPV we have a formula that is equals NPV in the rate we have to take the required rate of return which is 12% click on this cell comma now in the value 1 select the cash outflow and inflow range now close bracket press enter here we got the positive net present value it means the profit so in case the IRR is greater than the required rate of return then we can say that the investment is profitable here let me change some cash inflow values here I will make this value in negative in this case the IRR is given as 7% only which is less than the required rate of return so there is a negative net present value here you see the NPB goes negative this is the loss and here if the IRR is less than the required rate of return then the project is not acceptable or not profitable here if I make it 18,000 again in positive number now I got the profit where there is IRR greater than expected rate of return so this is the way of calculating the internal rate of return in Microsoft Excel thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video tutorial